it. <laughs> Was that your parents? Yeah, they do that whenever they drop me off. I'm your problem now. <laughs> Scarlett, this is Amy. She was nice enough to let yeah, us use her house. Yeah, let's skip the chit-chat and get down to business. I got to be down at the docks by 5.30 to sign for a shipment. <laughs> what kind of shipment? Hair scrunchies from Guatemala. I mark them up 80% and sell them in the girls' bathroom. Got to make that paper, am I right, ladies? <laughs> What's with the doll? He looks creepy. Yeah? Well, the view ain't great from over here either, shortcake. <laughs> Did that thing just talk back to me? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's my little brother, smart doll. It listens to what you say and it responds <laughs> like this. Shut it, Colby. You shut it. <laughs> See? Fun. <laughs> Wait, Colby? <laughs> oh boy, maybe we should put this in the other room. <laughs> uh, no! What kind of dolls do you like to play with? <laughs> Only the best one ever. Havoc. <laughs> well, this just took a delightful turn. <laughs> so, tell me what it is you like most about Havoc. Well, for starters... Better yet, why don't I go first? <laughs> Better yet, why don't we play a game? It's called Building Self-Esteem. I'll go first. Scarlet, I love your hair. Now say something nice about me. I lose. New game. <laughs> Let's go outside and see how many tires we can deflate in 15 minutes. Go. No, Scarlet, we're not deflating tires. <laughs> I'll be right back. You're not deflating tires either. <laughs> Want to hear something cool? Every time I get in trouble for doing something at home, I just say my Havoc doll told me to do it. Oh, that's genius. Miss Scarlet, you might have just restored my faith in humanity. I can't believe you like Havoc as much as I do. Oh, I don't just like her. I love her. Same. She's the one who taught me there's no such thing as rules. Me too. No. No. There are definitely rules. And that's what I'm teaching you. Your mentor, right here. Remember? Sorry, but the only person I look up to is Havoc. Mm. Aw. Children really are a future. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? The whole point of this is so Scarlet can learn from a good role model. Whoa. Are you saying Havoc isn't a good role model? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, while you two hash this out, I'll be in the kitchen eating all of your junk food. Uh, no, Scarlet. No junk food. Yes, Scarlet, it's my house, and I say you can do whatever you want. Ugh, I'm so torn. Wait, no, I'm not. See ya. <laughs> you can't let her go in there and eat junk food. Oh, I'm so torn. Wait, no, I'm not. See ya. <laughs> You're so much fun to hang out with. If I didn't know better, I think you were Havoc. <laughs> nope. I'm just a big fan. A really, really, really big fan. I wish you were my mentor. Hartley is nowhere near as cool as you are. Oh, come on, that's not true. No, Hartley's cool, just in a different way. You know what? We've had our fun. I think you should hang out with her for a while. I'll go get her. Hey, princess! Can you give me a hand? Oh, you again? Yeah. Can you pick me up? I've been down here so long, the ants are starting to have their way with me. Sure, I'll pick you up. Pick you up so I can get rid of you. Wait, what? No, wait, what are you doing? Okay, let's work together. I can be your scrunchie model. What's up, ladies? Cheese, girl. Wait. I know that grin. That's an I just did something bad and I'm waiting for you to catch on grin. What did you do? Nothing. I just got rid of that annoying doll. The Colby doll? What do you mean you got rid of it? I threw him in the trash can outside. You what? Oh, oh no. It's trash day and the truck just picked up the cans. You see, Hartley, this never would have happened if you would just let me deflate their tires. <laughs> You guys 
must really like that doll. I've never seen anyone swan dive into a landfill before. <laughs> oh, this is someone's used dental floss. Um, actually, I could use that. I've still got some weak old shrimp tails in my teeth. <laughs> All that, and we still couldn't find your brother. The doll. Your brother, the doll. Okay, I'm sorry, but hanging out with you gets weirder every day. Are you sure you threw the doll in the trash cans? Oh, wait, did I say I threw the doll away? My bad. I didn't throw it away. I saw some neighbors walking by with their kid, so I gave it to them. <laughs> what? Why would you make us wade through thousands of pounds of trash if you didn't throw the doll away? Because it was fun. <laughs> Scarlet, you had no right to give that doll away. Oh, so now you're playing by the rules, too? I thought you were cool, but you're a fun killer, just like Hartley. I don't want either one of you to be my mentor. I'm out of here. <sighs> what do you want? I came to talk to you. Now one Havoc fan to another. Wait, so you're back to breaking rules again? Great! Let's go to an old folks home and tell them they have their whole lives ahead of them. <laughs> no. Well, maybe later. <laughs> Listen, I know you look up to Havoc because she does whatever she wants, but her actions have consequences, and so do yours. Is this about the doll? I can give you one of mine. But just so you know, I gouged all their eyes out. <laughs> wow. That is disturbing. Uh, I'm talking about Hartley. She really wanted to spend time with you today. Yeah, right. No sitter has ever wanted to spend time with me. Kind of have a bad reputation. You know what? A long time ago, I didn't have the best reputation either. But Hartley still wanted to be my friend. You should give her a shot. Having her as a big sister might be good for you. Yeah, maybe. But she's got to chill on the rules. I mean, I'm 11. I'm a grown woman. Of course you are. That's why you're eating cheese curls in a tree. Wait, if everything Havoc does has consequences, why does she do bad things? Maybe she never thought about the consequences. Well, just so you know, I don't only like Havoc because she does bad stuff. <laughs> she's also strong, doesn't care what people think about her, and always stands up for herself. Yeah, you're right. I guess Havoc isn't such a bad role model after all. So why not take some of Havoc's good qualities and mix them with Hartley's good qualities and, and see what happens? I could do that. I mean, being bad all the time can be exhausting. Mm. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> okay, Scarlett. I think it's time to call your parents to pick you up. Wait, I want to stay. You do? Yeah, and maybe we can play that self-esteem game you were talking about. And Amy can play too. Oh, sorry, Amy's got stuff to do. <laughs> I thought you said games were lame. I only said that because that's what Havoc would say. But Amy taught me that Havoc isn't always right. She did? <laughs> well, calm down. You're not the only one changing lives around here. <laughs> now we just have to find the doll. Right. Scarlet, we really need you to get our doll back from that family. Don't worry. I already texted them. Help me! What did I tell you? The more you complain, the more I squeeze. <laughs> Thanks for bringing them back. This isn't fair. I love that doll. Oh, well... Wait, right here. Here? Is it even better, doll? <sighs> she may be too young for that. That's Havoc! I love it! <laughs> you don't want her anymore? Nah, you can have her. She served her purpose. <laughs>